Hello everyone, my name is Rara Zaiza. welcome to my channel. A lot of people over at XDA and Reddit want to know if it is ever possible to install Viper for Android on a rooted LG G4. Today I'm going to tell you that yes, you can actually install Viper for Android on your rooted LG G4. And I'm gonna show you how! Yay! Yeah. So there's a bit of a big hack for this to work. And that hack involves disabling SE Linux and setting it to permissive. So if you care about security, I suggest skipping this mod and skipping the whole video because um, SE Linux is a big thing and if you disable that, you're, you're losing a lot of security stuff. But if you're like me and you don't care about your security and personal information being shared, like my foot size it's all good you, i i can enjoy my uh, my audio driver quality optimizer and volume booster so essentially what you need to do is follow this guide here and it's a modified uh, an lgg2 guide the modified stuff are in red here to, uh, i'm gonna link this post in the description down below what you need to do is first download SC Linux mode uh, changer here from XDA as well and link is here Google Play link is down because he got banned <laughs> because of S disabling SC Linux and stuff you can also download it from F Droid and check out his GitHub so once you once you download that save that to a directory you can remember and then go to the second link here this is Viper for Android and in the official Viper for Android thread scroll down until you get to the downloads and download this guy from Mediafire. Once you download the two this is an APK file which you can install it's just an app and this is a, a zip file which you should extract and since we are on Lollipop we should extract the 4.x APK and not the gingerbread APK so just extract that. So now we have two APKs uh, you should install these two on your device just like you normally install any app which is fairly easy so after you've installed um, these two apps go to the SE Linux uh, app SE Linux changer app which is about I have no idea where it is ah uh, there it is so uh, open this up and granted root access of course and what you need to do is press permissive so I've already pressed it because I've changed my SE Linux mode to permissive because I've already tried this mod before doing the video of course so hit permissive granted root access and it'll be permissive so after that what you need to do is to go to settings scroll down hit about phone go to software info hit build number seven times until you say it says you're a, you're a developer or no need you're already a developer and then hit back go to develop, developer options scroll down a bit and what we need to pick is use awesome player I've already checked this by default this comes unchecked so you should check this um, for Viper for Android to play uh, on your LG G4 and so after checking, checking this, what you need to do is go to Viper for Android. And as soon as you open this up for the first time, it's going to tell you to install the driver. I picked this the, the highest quality possible. And then after that, um, it told me to reboot the phone. So I rebooted. All right. So after rebooting, what, um, what the guide says is to go to the menu and then hit FX compatible mode and pick compatible but I found that in normal mode it just works and as you can see here we can go to menu driver status and see that it is enabled it is in normal status and audio format is supported now it's not processing because I'm not playing any sound here so let's test this what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open the music app which is the default music app in the LG G4 and pick any music that's royalty free because you know because of reasons and I'm gonna play on the speaker
Okay, so before I continue, I just want to say that here in the equalizer here, I've set this to normal. Normal, which works with Viper for Android. And the way I'm gonna test this uh, is that I'm gonna open up Viper for Android and the graph here, I'm gonna lower this to like that and see if the, uh, if the sound changes. So let's go ahead and increase the volume and see if that decreases it. So yeah, it works. So there you go, we've just installed Viper for Android on our rooted LG G4. Again, although we had to change SC Linux to permissive, we got a major volume tweaker running just fine. So if you're a fan of music, definitely try this out. But if you're a fan of security, don't. Thank you all for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you did, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Share this video so that more people would know how to listen to their music the right way. Also follow me on Google Plus to see the things that I don't put up here on YouTube. This was Rai Rosaizo on how to install Viper for Android on just a rooted LG G4 and I'll see you soon.